Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam and Yana. Um, we just wanted to jump on here really quick before we began the video today and just let you guys know this video uh, is telling how we have had to deal with family triggers, um, dealing with mental um, health disorders, but we also, with all of the laughter, wanted to make sure that you guys know that we do take this seriously and we do know that there are a lot of people out here suffering. There are a lot of people that don't have the support system that Kiana has. So um, we wanted to give you a least one resource just so therefore if you need um, help and you might be feeling down that you reach out to somebody. So if you are feeling down um, or feeling like you want to harm yourself, please give the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline a phone call and they are there 24 7 and they are there to help so at 1-800-273-8255 all right guys we love you hey butterflies it's your girl pam and my special guest my daughter my beautiful girl kiana um, we're going to talk today about mental health. This month, May, is Mental Health Awareness. And so we decided, um, at the request of one of my beautiful butterflies, to give our take on living with this condition for the whole... It. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. Oh. So this came from Virtuous One. Thank you, my beautiful butterfly. Hi, can you... Do an update on how you and your family are coping with handling the challenges that come with a loved one that suffers from mental health, especially during this time. So, um, we've struggled. <laughs> Is that the word you want to use? <laughs> Why are you looking like that? We have. We've struggled. One of the things, we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about two triggers that me and Kiana have. One is money. We're going to talk about that one in this video. And then we're doing the second one that is talking about Dre. So Dre is a point of contention for us also. So um, in our household, the way that it operates, if they wanted an upgrade on the cell phone, then they had to go ahead and pay for it. Okay. So that was either through chore money or if you had already started working after school and on the weekends, then you would pay for it from there. In my head, I would think you asked to borrow the money. She might say, mommy, can I borrow this? Or I, I want the upgrade. You know you owe the money. So why don't you, when you get paid, just go ahead and give me the money. But no, you have to ask Kiana and then Pandora's box opens. It is a mess, a hot mess. So... If she owes you the money, she's not going to come and tell you she owes you the money. She's not going to do anything except for wait until you ask her for the money. She would much rather buy you something than to give you your money. Even though she got cash, she doesn't want to give you cash back. You want to give your diagnosis? Um, I'm bipolar schizophrenic and I have psychosis. So, she has... A whole lot. <laughs> she got a whole lot going up in here. <laughs> Look at her. So, she, if she's not on medicine, sometimes she hears voices, right? Yes. Very paranoid. Very. Do you think with, does it cut down with the medication or? Yes. It, 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 yes. it, it does cut down. Okay. And then the bipolar traits. So, we have a lot of things that um, have kind of consumed our life for a very long time. Of course, she has had a baby and she did very well. Um, she made the choice to come off medication while she was pregnant, which I totally understand from a mother's standpoint. And she was good even through breastfeeding. Oh, yeah. But when the breastfeeding stopped, <laughs> couldn't keep up. <laughs> ah, it was a different... But she couldn't keep up with the breastfeeding. We couldn't keep up with her once yeah, the, those hormones. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a it was a, it was a hot mess. Yeah. Miss. Okay. But we are working. We are on our fourth set of medicines. 
the medicines that she used prior to being pregnant were no longer working with her system. I'm assuming that um, it was a situation with the hormones. Um, so we had to start over again. So, been trial and error, right? Um, she's had some side effects. Um, so it, it was kind of rough trying to get through that. So like um, being bipolar, playing the bipolar part of things, um, money plays a big part of it and being in sexuality. Two things that uh -oh. play, two things play into that. We, we're going there. Alrighty. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah. That'll so, be part three of the sexuality. Go ahead. We'll never open that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Don't want to know either. I know too much. Okay, go ahead. Anyways, okay, so money plays a big part. So, it's like, it, it's called a high and a low. Um, When you're very high, you're in a manic. Um, when you have money, you get, it feels like you're on a drug. Um, it literally, you're very, very high. You feel like nothing can touch you. You go walk on water, you can walk the walls, you can do anything. Like, if a bullet try to hit you, it can't touch you. Like, boop, beep. You know, just... Can't, no scar, no nothing. Um, but, um, when people ask you for your money back, um... Their money back. Their money back. If they ask you for money back, it kind of feels like they're taking your high away. And so, you're kind of like, spazzing out because it's no different from a drug addict when you take their drugs away they're going to spaz out so if you take them a highway then that means oh my low's coming um or you you're you transferring me you transforming me to a low and it doesn't and to me it doesn't matter if i'm on a low as long as i get my high and that's when i spaz out because i'm like okay i don't want my low to last so long, if that makes sense. It does, because I think everybody drops. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, anybody, everybody that sees money, they, you know, oh my God, money, yes. You know, they're happy and all that stuff, but it's 10 times more than what you think. It literally feels like you're on a drug. And it, it, it's, it's a lot of emotions going on, and it's very happy. Can you explain what, like, is it like a spinning wheel and you just can't get off? It, it's like your mind just keeps moving? You're on a high. You really, uh, but if people have been, been done, high. But if nobody's done drugs, then they won't know. So give a, you know, some kind of comparison. Okay, so you know how you, if y'all ever been on that big old boat going to like a Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel boat, you know, when you all the way up and your heart oh. is pumping and you're like, oh my gosh. Like, whoa, like, snap, you know, on the roller coaster, you, you hit the top of the thing. And then the zoom. And the zoom down, yeah, that's how it feels. And then that, that, low, yeah. That, yeah, it just, it's kind of like that. So when the roller coaster stops, is that your, but you still, I guess you're still in the manic at that point. Still in the manic. Okay. Maybe the line. That drop is can be a low and it can be a high mm, okay that drop you can be like oh i'm just sitting here oh my god like i can't get out of bed i can't move feel stuck you it, it i like to use the word stuck because you let you you do you feel stuck you can't you can't do anything your mind will not let you do nothing because you are that low I've heard you low. use drowning before too. Yeah, it feels like you're drowning, like your head is right above water and your the water is like right here and you're just like <gasps> trying, to, trying gasp. to gasp for air. Like you're trying so hard. That's, that's how, how it feels. It's no other feeling. Um, and it's... I, I would, Has it been higher than you on weed? Not the brownies. <laughs> <laughs> I just incriminated my kid. Oh my god! We live in California. <laughs> <laughs> the 
like, no, dog on well. We all live in California. You nut. I think usually the high that people are used to is dealing with drugs when you hear people that are addicted to drugs. But yours is addicted to the actual emotion that yeah, the feeling that feeling <laughs> that, and 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 that's probably reason why people do get on drugs because they're trying to find that high. But it's it's in, within you. It's in you. You literally like you try to find those triggers, and that's probably reason why um I hate when people ask me for money because it's kind of like you're taking away my high, so I spaz out. It's like you're taking away my drug. You literally taking the drug out of my hand and. It's like, oh my God, no, I'm uh, freaking out. Like I start shaking. I'm just like going everywhere because it's like, I'd rather me spending it because I'm spending it. I'm mm -hmm. feeling that high than me giving you the money and you're spending it, if that makes sense. So it's, it's very, 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 very addicting. Very addicting. So no... Just in court, y'all know how I am about my babies. No, she doesn't. Currently. <laughs> no, she doesn't currently um, partake. <laughs> oh, no, I don't, I don't smoke weed no more. <laughs> no, I don't smoke weed no more. I, I quit because um, my baby daddy had to quit. Quitting together. Woo. Alrighty. Now, do you think Antonio would be okay sharing what y'all's dynamic is? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them y'all's dynamic. Okay, so me and um, Antonio, that's my baby's father. He's my like my best friend. Um, he's bipolar schizophrenic as well. Uh, <laughs> do y'all know? Now understand what my life is. And for the last, what, two years, I felt like I done raised him too. We've been, get, we've been together for almost six years. Yeah. But the last two, years, two yeah. three years, I've been, yeah. She kind of took him under her wing. So anyway, um, <laughs> this household is crazy. I promise you it's crazy. So... Um, money to, to us, and I think because of the fact that our family is just really so close, um, we do, we laugh a lot as y'all can tell, but you know, it, like I said, some of the highs have been the highest, some of the lows have been the lowest. Yeah, it's I hard, hear. um, it's been hard on all of us. I think a lot of times with mental illness, the concentration is on the person that has the mental illness. But it's hard for the family too. I'm her caregiver, so I probably get it the worst. But she spreads her love around. <laughs> if she gets in with her twin, I mean, she's threatened her twin. The only one you haven't threatened is Nay, I think. And they usually can bring her down, but she's been very confrontational this last go round of trying to get her medicine right with Janae too. So can you tell them why you stopped taking your medicine. That um okay that was so a good one. okay so depending on the kind of medicine that you're on, you kind of feel um either use the word stuck again. You either stuck or you kind of feel you can stay at your low. And around that time, I felt like I was at my low and I'm trying to, desperately trying to look for my high. Like, I was gaining weight. Don't like gaining weight. I literally love being itty bitty, teeny weeny. Yeah, trying to get back to there. But, um, uh, when I was gaining weight and then, like, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the high. So I was like freaking out. And I was like, oh my God, like where is my high? And it didn't matter. Just let y'all know, with bipolar people, when they're at their high, they're eventually going to go to their low. But for me, if I go to my low, I don't my, I don't care. As long as I get my high right afterwards. So it, 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 I was freaking out. I was like, okay, no, I don't like being that low 24-7. Can't breathe. Can't figure anything out. Feel stuck. Feel depressed. No, didn't like it. And that's the reason why I stopped taking my medicine because I was just like, 
if I stop taking my medicine, then I know my high is going to kick in. And then I'm going to start exercising. And then I'm going to start losing weight. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do that. So. And she didn't, it didn't matter to her that the rest of the household would be no, in. Because I was getting my high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was hell. It was literally. I, I used to sit in my driveway and not come in because I didn't know what the hell was on the other side of this door. Hey, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Called Kiana. <laughs> and I, I would. I would sit in the driveway all the time and, you know, like my best friend would be like, what are you doing? I know you said you just got home. I was like, yeah. She said, well, we've been talking about 45 minutes. I was like, okay. I said, I'm sitting in my driveway. Don't want to go in. So either she or uh, Janae or Bree would come and stick their head at the window of my car and be like, are you ever coming in? Or I would go and lock myself in my room and not necessarily physically lock myself, but I, you know, I find safe haven in my bedroom. And so I would stay in there. It, It was... It was better than the alternative because I was her trigger for whatever reason. And I'm assuming because I'm the caregiver. And so somehow I could look at her or if we had, I mean, literally I would get anxiety myself having to discuss, okay, your car note is due. And I had co-signed on both of their cars for them. And so at that particular time, I was collecting the money from them. And for me to have to sit and say, okay, for the car you're driving, it's time for you to pay your car note. I would get anxiety because it would be as if she never knew she had to pay the car note, nor did she care. I think, you know, Kiana's medicine is now working much better for her and so we this was probably not us especially before dre was born no no this was i mean this is the child and like we say i love you before we get off the phone we and even when we don't want to we'll be like (laughs) even when we don't want to we'll be like love you bye (laughs) right Uh, um yeah, yeah, la, la, la. Nom, nom, nom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or you know, we're hugging before we go get leave out the door or whatever. And so, um, during Kiana's lowest period, before we had a clear diagnosis, you know, she used to push me away. And this close, we would never sit this close. She would get up and go to the other sofa. She would not be this close to me. Yeah. Was that bad too, yeah. And so, because of the fact that my kids are my life, it literally took a emotional toll on me. And so, I had a really, really hard time adjusting. I had a really hard time, um, well, her twin made it quite clear. Kiana may not need you <laughs> or want you, but we still do. Yeah, and she, she kind of shut down with everybody. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm dealing with my own rejection and abandonment issues myself. So I'm having to learn um, that I can't take it out on everybody. So, um, anything else you want to say about money? Uh, So let me ask you a question. I do want to ask you a question. Yes, I'm putting you on the spot. You did go exercise yesterday. So that was your high. And then when you were doing your homework last night, did you hit a low? Yes. No, no that was anxiety. That okay. was anxiety and paranoia. Like, I was freaking out. I could not breathe, you guys. Like, it was like... And when I woke up this morning, I was just like, how did that even happen? Like, I, I, it, it, it doesn't even seem real. Like, I was hyperventilating i could not breathe i felt like under, underneath water like i could float i was like oh my god like, she was screaming through yeah. this house like a banshee i'm like yeah. what in the hell it was pretty bad because i'm scared <laughs> of success and feel like i'm in school for veterinary technician so i'm kind of scared to finish because i never finished anything except for graduating high school which i didn't have a choice because my mom was yeah i kill her yeah so i didn't graduate so i kind of like just like push through but right now it's kind of like oh my god you got 
one more semester. You got this one. Well, now it was four assignments. Now I got one more assignment to do because she helped me a lot. And um, but you got one more assignment, and then you you basically you're about to start doing your your dream. Like you you gonna be working with animals, doing the intern and and going and checking animals and stuff like that, learning new stuff that you love since you were an itty bitty baby and then you had your dad that was like oh well veterinarians don't make a lot of money that kind of deteriorates you so you kind of like eh. so it was a lot and hence me trying to counter counteract what her dad said as far as you know instead of her following her dreams and you know he's more concentrated on money and she didn't care about the money she loved the animals hence that's why we have four dogs now and, and they're not dogs. They not, You saw the other dog the other day. That's not a regular dog. That's a horse. It's a mini pony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they are. So, anyway, um, we just wanted to kind of do this. We're going to do one more um, and talk about... You hear Dre? We're going to get rid of Dre. We're going to wake up now and, and get Dre. So, hopefully, y'all can hear half of this of something she said. And then we're going to talk about... Um, Dre, because that was a hard one, and me having to do my self reflection, which I told y'all about in a previous video, me having to do my self reflection and figuring out why I um, was so hurt with the whole situation with Dre, and then she's going to share her part. All right, so until next time, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the like button. Like button. <laughs> Hit the like button. Make sure you share this if you think somebody would be able to benefit from it. And until next time, love you butterflies. <laughs> Using a cell phone as an example, um, when the twins got a cell phone when they were younger, um, they gave a... Really? You got a yard? Oh, <laughs> what sorry. <laughs> Stop, Kia. This can <laughs> This really? What are you doing? Could you take that to another room? Come on for my battery. <laughs>